Well, next at six, remembering the life of Maureen Grant. She was the victim of a bus pedestrian accident in Madison last June. News 3's Andy Choi shows us why loved ones are giving the gift of life all to honor hers. I tried to avoid that intersection for quite some time. At the intersection of Lake and University, they walk with a purpose. Point A to point B, one task to another. But some are taking a detour. Hi, you can come on in. Finding their way to the intersection of giving. And they'll take you next available. And living. You just go ahead and relax. Blood drives are an annual event for the staff at UW's Memorial Library, but this drive is to remember one of their own. Maureen was a regular blood donor. She gave blood not only uh, for at the university drives, but also um, in her hometown in New Glarus. She would always make you laugh. She always had a smile. Friends say few photos of Maureen Grant lack a funny face, proof of a life full of joy, a life taken. She was walking with the light mm -hmm. in the crosswalk. At the intersection of traffic and tragedy. Maureen parked in the same parking facility that, that I did. And just to think that, you know, you left your car and then only a couple minutes later, you know, you got hit by a bus and that you were deceased was, was unsettling for me for a long time. I actually walk by there every day to get into work, as most of us do, and it's hard. I mean, you're always remembering that that's the place she passed away. As time moves on, so do the footsteps at Lake and University. But there will always be some that never will. Without fail, I think about Maureen Grant every time I go through that intersection. And with thoughts of Maureen Grant in their hearts, donors gave 51 pints of blood at today's drive. The library says plans are in place to build a new bench just outside the library to honor their colleague. Clearly she is dearly missed by those who worked with her. Andy, thank you very much. Thanks, Andy.